Hi, my name is Kevin Rex, and I'm Canada's ambassador to the Republic of Latvia. Kevin, you, your wife, and your team have been immediately excited to be on board for this year's fundraiser. How do you support your cause this year? So this year, uh, the Embassy of Canada is supporting the charity bazaar uh, through several uh, uh, means, but I guess the most exciting one is that I'll be hosting uh, for some lucky winner or maybe unlucky winner a pancake breakfast at my residence. I say unlucky because because uh, I'm going to make the pancakes. But you may uh, you may know that Canada makes 85% of the world's maple syrup. And uh, so it's a special treat for someone to come have some real Canadian maple syrup on some real Canadian pancakes and uh, get to take some home as well. Kevin, can you tell us a little about your work as ambassador? What makes your profession special? What do you like about your job? I like everything about my job. Uh, I think there's no greater honor than to be able to represent one's country. I am so proud to be Canadian and to be able to walk around uh, Latvia and Lithuania and Estonia as Canada's representative is the greatest thrill of my life. And it's really amplified because right now for Canada, Latvia is home to our largest military mission anywhere in the world. Canada is the framework nation for the NATO Enhanced Forward Presence here. So it means that I am joined by nearly 600 Canadian soldiers, by their families, by their children, really making Latvia sort of uh, Canada's special home abroad right now. Why does the Embassy of Canada want to give uh, to our organization? What motivates you and your team to be involved? I think we're motivated. When you're living in a different country, you need to really become a part of that country. You need to contribute. And as I said before, because Canada's presence here is so profound, uh, it needs to be more than just on the political and on the security front. We have to uh, uh, meet members of the community, members of society, uh, donate, contribute, and let people know what Canada is really all about. The reality is Canada is very, very far away. It's a very big country. And part of our job is to really share our history, our traditions, uh, our good uh, uh, spirit, with the people of Latvia, and this really gives us a chance to do that. What would you like to pass on to the community and future generations? Well, it's my hope that uh, Canada's presence here will be enduring, and a generation from now, Latvia will be one of these special countries that feels a, a really special bond with Canada. That the soldiers that have served here, the men and women in uniform, the diplomats, the children that have gone to school here, the spouses that have supported their partners here, uh, will really create this special relationship. Uh, there'll be marriages between the countries, uh, Canadian Latvian children being born. Uh, our food will have uh, moved into the culture, as will Latvian food and drink moved into Canada culture. I really see a generation from now this really, really special Latvian-Canadian connection, and I'm so proud to be just a small part of that. Would you share with us what you like most about Latvia? I think this is what I like most about Latvia. You know, Canada is a very young country, and we don't have buildings that are centuries old. The fact that I live in a 116-year-old apartment building, that uh, the buildings behind me are centuries old, that there are castles, that you can imagine the old tall ships that used to sail into this harbor. As a, as a Canadian, as a North American, it's something we, we really miss. And so the history of this country is remarkable. The people are wonderful, they are inviting, the food is fantastic, and if I'm being really honest, I really like the beer. Thank you. Thank you.